CJ, oh, he spun dirt completely around and hit the three. That's worse than a poster, a spin around. CJ, he tries to split it, he has it, down the lane he comes, put it up, in it, and it's gone! Holy cow! And CJ tells the sellout crowd, we appreciate you being here. C.J. McCollum will have his time starting up again in the fall. The newly minted $106 million man fresh off of his four-year max extension. For now, he's playing the part of booster and cheerleader, boosting and cheering for his brother Eric, who along with his teammates on Overseas Elite have advanced to the Final Four of the basketball tournament, two wins away from a second straight title and a $2 million prize. And the brothers McCollum are joining us this morning on SportsCenter from New York. Guys, good morning. Eric, let, let's start with you. How and why did you decide to get involved in the basketball tournament? <laughs> well, um, I had first heard it when I had a workout um, with the Cavs, and you know I didn't kind of believe it. It was a surprise, like, oh, they're going to give you money for a summer tournament. You know, it, it sounded kind of far-fetched. Um, and then I realized it was, you know, it was legit. So the next year I was like, okay, I'm going to play, and we got a team together, and it just, you know, in the summertime, it's something to keep us sharp keep our game going and and you know it's a great opportunity just to get a little bit of exposure for people in your family to see you because we play so far overseas everybody doesn't get the opportunity you mentioned playing overseas and your journey has taken you from from China to uh, Galatasaray I mean you've been in Europe you've been all over the place when you went to your family and said hey I'm gonna be playing here stateside you get a chance to see me play what was their reaction <laughs> oh, they were ecstatic um, you know obviously um, you know, CJ always comes to see me. You know, I fly out my parents, um, you know, my girlfriend. But you know, this was the first time that, you know, some of my extended family members could see me play since college. So, um, you know, it was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. So, you know, some people might play for the money and all that, but, you know, that's great. But for me, it was just an opportunity for everybody to get to see me play and, you know, to hone my skills in the summertime. CJ, what was the conversation like when, when Eric told you, this is what I'm going to do? <laughs> At first, I thought he was joking because, like you said before, you don't really see a lot of situations where you're able to win a million dollars in, in three weekends. So first, I thought he was joking. Then I actually flew out to Chicago last year and was able to watch a couple games um, in between workouts and been watching and, and, and tuned in ever since and looking forward to seeing them win a championship. And as a booster, that'll be back-to-back -back championships since I was unable to get it done this season. All right, let's talk about being a booster. You just signed your max deal. We know the numbers. We just ran through them. There's $2 million prize money on the line. What's the, what's the arrangement here if Eric and company take home the $2 million prize? Well, I, I was able to get some sponsorship through some tweets and Facebooks, and uh, I'm actually excited about the chance to, get, to gain an extra $5,000 if they win. Obviously, my cut's not as big as his. I think he'll get around 170, 175 before taxes, but uh, that $5,000 will be utilized greatly for my future. That's good. Nothing wrong with that. And I'll tell you what, 175 for your brother, that'll work as well. You can utilize that all you want. Eric, you were, listen, if, if you look at your European and your overseas basketball career, you dropped 82 points in a single game in China. At what point during the game, if maybe the team's struggling a little bit, you, do you decide, I got to be selfish here? There, there's money on the line. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, going into the game, um, my secondary scorer got hurt, Charles Gaines. You know, really good big man experience, and he was just in my ear, you know, just giving me contact. Like Eric, you got to be very aggressive. Um, we need you to go out and get 60. And I just laughed, like I, I don't know, 60 is going to be difficult. And you know, once I realized I hit my first few shots, and I felt I had a rhythm, I was like, okay, I got, I got to try to take this game over. And I was fortunate to hit shots, and it happened to be an excellent night for me. All right, so let's see, you get it done. You're, you're two wins away. You're in the final four. Let's see, you get it done. What are you going to buy with your share? <laughs> well, um, I just bought a house. Uh, you know, I bought it before CJ signed his contract, so I should have waited longer. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, I guess that would help, you know, soften that blow of buying a house. And, you know, I'll probably do some nice things for my family, you know, help some people who, you know, might need some, some assistance in some areas. All right, well, we had CJ here in Bristol uh, during the playoffs. If the Blazers are not playing deep into the playoffs for whatever reason next year, you get CJ. And if you're not playing overseas, you get CJ to bring you here as well. Because uh, the brothers McCollum, I mean, you guys have a future in, in broadcasting whenever you decide to hang them up. <laughs> we appreciate yeah, it. I'm going to take Eric, you guys up on that. All right. Best of luck the rest <laughs> of the way.
We appreciate it. Game on ESPN uh, right. tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.